Hello, Leo, and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate, with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Leo. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Let's see. Okay. Stressed. Okay. So you feel like someone is keeping things from you. Um, this person has pulled back. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of fighting going on. Um, so what was once um, happy, you were once happy with this individual, is turning into, uh, or has for some of you, turned into a little bit of a nightmare. So... Um, a lot of fighting in regards to secrets. Um, you're suspicious of this person. There's also money uh, worry. And um, what should be a beautiful situation has taken like a turn for the worst here. And I feel like what's going to happen here is you're going to move on from this. The positive shift here um, is that you're going to move on from this. It's complete chaos. Um, so what should have been happy turned into... I feel like you're seeing this person's true colors. So three of cups here. I feel like it's a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Like it's it goes up and down. You fall apart you come back together and I feel like this last time is going to be like the last time so that you can move on right and you can have a love that you can celebrate this love was once celebrated but it's almost like this person intentionally wants to make you jealous so that's very interesting. Three of Cups here. Whew. All right. So I feel like you're suspicious that there is um, other people involved. And this person uh, likes it when you get jealous. Okay. So you got the devil at play here. And then they hold back. And then they, then there's money issues as well. It's just complete madness. So... And what's going to happen here is the universe is going to step in and get you away from this energy because they're kind of hard to get away from. <laughs> Capricorn energy here. So death to old ways, new beginnings. This door has to completely close. And some of you say, well, I already closed that door. And, you know, thank God for it. Other people are going through this right now. And this is what's on my table. You can be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. So there's great change going to take place, right? And I feel like you're changing. It's just been so much, right? Up and down, up and down with this particular individual. And things aren't changing. Things aren't like they used to be with this person. Um, you feel like they're heart and their attention is somewhere else and um so there's there's this ending that's taking 
place if it hasn't already so that you can begin again and you can be happy in a love that you can celebrate but this has to be dealt with right so there you are um, you're becoming stronger than this devil energy and you're seeing through a lot of uh, the bullshit you know they they like to keep you on your toes um they like to uh, play mind games, a lot of games, um, but you're kind of seeing through it. It, it is stressful. Um, it is chaos, but you are you and you're going to get through this and, and you're going to get on a completely different path, a completely different timeline away from this person. You could be dealing with another Leo. All right. So... The heart of the situation is a very loving commitment here, right? And it it's like they showed their true self after a while. And you were kind of blindsided by this person's madness. So what should have been happy turned out to be uh, just... It's it's almost like your mind was just messed with big time. So we got the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. This is where you're heading. What you were dealing with was a false situation. I feel like their intention was not real. They poured the love on for their own selfish reasons, um, whether that be they needed to be taken care of, um, they needed a human ATM machine, whatever it is, they needed stability in their life and you provided that for them. Um, it was, was there love here? Yeah. I mean, there was a time the two of you were very, very happy, right? The sun card. Uh, there was joy here, um, but it turned out to be um, a lot of hard realizations in regards to this person's almost other personality. So, again, with Leo energy. So, things change, right? Um, lessons learned. You're going to get through this, and there's a huge positive shift coming. It's like you're waking up. And where you're going is so much better than what you are experiencing right now. You thought the beginning with this person was wonderful and great and was so so much happiness here. Wait till you see where you're going. All right. So this is causing a lot of stress. This is causing some sleepless nights. This is causing some worry here with that nine of swords. And is there's so many games being played right now. Um you feel, like I said, this person is distracted. They're not, um, they're holding back. They're keeping things from you. Uh, they like to mess with your mind. And you strongly feel that there's other people involved here. And it's almost like they hint at that. So five of uh, wands here. Very disappointing to you. Very disappointing. We got the five of cups here. So, so much has happened here, but, you know, you're looking at what's going on and what's happening, but keep in mind, there's other options that are coming towards you that are so much better. There's also money worries surrounding this as well, and this person holds back. They, they have blocked you from seeing um, what's true in their heart. They keep things from you, and you're very suspicious of this person. Four of Pentacles. We got the Hermit. Can it be healed? I don't think so. Um, this person was wearing a false mask here. I feel like a lot of love bombing happened in the beginning. You know? You could be dealing with a Virgo or um, somebody with Virgo in their chart. You're going to be stronger going to be sharper you're going to be faster um 
you are going to heal from this and you're going to prepare. You're, it's like you had to go through this, this person's huge obstacle for you. So we got the three of swords here. I feel like a really bad situation is finally coming to an end and it's almost, yes, it's disappointing. Yes, it's sad. However, um, you're going to see why all of this unfolded the way that it did and the path that it led you to. Because there's a huge positive shift coming for you once this energy is, is gone. Once the, the final decision to truly end it with this person is made. And that is, you know, that's up to you. Because I feel like this type of energy will keep coming back around. So it's definitely with, within your control to finalize the decision to let it go. Three of Swords here for Leo. So we got the Empress here and we've got the Ace of Swords. This is a lot of power here in these two cards, right? You could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You see the truth. You're going to have victory over this. And success with a new beginning that has potential for growth. You're going into um, a relationship. Once you have purged this from your energy, you're going into a relationship that's very nurturing and caring and loving. And is real. And not, you know, um, false. It's not, uh, it's not that, uh, it's, it, I feel like what you were dealing with, um, was with somebody with narcissistic tendencies. Okay, so that is the love reading, and I'm going to take a look at your career as well, and then um, we'll pull you a little oracle card here. So... I feel like there's high competition where you are at and I feel like there's a lot of money worry as well with you. You're having to really pinch pennies right now and the whole scene is disappointing. Okay, so the whole scene where you're at is, it's like you were once so happy um, in this place. I feel like you made a lot of good connections. I feel like you made a lot of friends. Um, but somebody stepped into the picture, whether that was, you know, the powers that be, or maybe I want to say someone new came in and just stirred shit up, right? And now what was once you know something that brought stability into your home it's almost like new management or somebody stepped into a new managerial role and really screwed things up and almost pitted the pitted people against each other so now now that that energy has entered the picture it's chaos. They intentionally stirred the pot and it worked. And now it's caused a lots and lots of stress. Very disappointing for you. It doesn't even pay the bills half the damn time. So there's change. There's change coming and new beginnings coming for you. It's a lot to think about. Um, it's not the same as it used to be, right? that with your love life and your career, it's not the same as it used to be. That's what I want to say. So your success lies elsewhere. And I feel like they're, they're going to lose you. And you're going somewhere where there's more abundance and more growth. A new beginning here for you. So 
Let's pull you an Oracle card, Leo, and see what's going on. This is for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? We have service. I feel good when I can help others. Okay, that might be true. However, few things with this. It doesn't feel good when you're taken advantage of and certain boundaries are crossed and your and your mind's being played with. Like I said, this person they came in, it was great, right? Um and you helped them. You helped them. They had their own hidden agenda and you and you helped this person and it feel, felt good to help them. But that's also, you got to take a step back and especially in regards to your love life, it created um, a bit of an imbalance. So, you know, it's, you wanted to help them. You wanted to help elevate them. You wanted to help heal them and things were really, really good um, until they weren't. And there's an imbalance there, and especially an imbalance of control. All right, so really think about that. So when, there, when you go to help someone and bend over backwards for them, um, what exactly are you expecting in return, right? The same, the same energy, it usually doesn't work that way. So healthy boundaries is a must. I feel like this person started to feel like you were calling the shots because you, you had, you know, you were their, their home. You were their stability. So I hope that makes sense. I feel like where you're, where you're going in career, I feel like there's a lot of growth um, a lot of you may be working in healthcare somehow, some way. Um, that's for some, um, some of you, not all of you, but I feel like where you're going is going to be much more fulfilling and much more abundant for you. All right, Leo, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.